What's going on, TW fans? Thomas here bringing you this week's episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. Summer is in full swing. It's getting hot out there. We're rolling hot dogs. We're having a good time on the water. I know that temperature is rising, but that does mean that that top water bite is gonna be good. That's my favorite way to fish, so I'm pretty excited. Fortunately, we got a whole lot of stuff to check out today, including a top water bait, so let's jump right in. We're gonna start with a new rod and a new company to Tackle Warehouse. New from Legit Designs, we have the Wild Side Casting Rod. We also have a spinning rod and a couple five-piece op options, and I'll go over those multi-piece options here momentarily, but we're gonna start with just the overall construction of that casting and spinning. So it's kind of hard to go over the overall construction because they're all so unique. They're very, very incredibly technique specific. So when you head over to tacklewarehouse.com and you're checking these rods out, as you scroll through them, make sure you click show more information because each rod is going to have a different handle, handle type, uh, different cork, different EVA, different butt, different guides. It's all fully customized. So a really cool company. With these blanks themselves, so oftentimes you'll see, you know, something with a 30 ton blank, uh, you know, a 40 ton carbon fiber blank. Well, these blanks, some of them are that way, but some of them are even a blend. You'll have 30, 40, any more, even more in there. So it's a, a pretty cool blend. Now with these high modulus blanks, sometimes you'll get a little bit of brittleness, but to, you know, combat that, what Legit Designs did is they incorporated Aramid Fiber Reinforcement. Kind of like Kevlar, it's another name for it. Mainly used in aerospace and military applications, now we're getting it in our fishing rods. So pretty cool, high speed technology. As I mentioned before, the, the guide trains on these are customized. They vary between each rod to enhance that technique. Some of the handles actually like this one, they will separate. Some are just that full one piece through. So it's just a really customized technique specific rod. Fuji has uh, real seats on here. Everything else is fully customized and just really lightweight, high performance, tournament caliber, a new premier rod option from Legit Designs. Now, I did say that they have a five piece option. They do, we're carrying a couple of them here. They all come with this nice neoprene soft cover and I look how small this is. This is gonna fit in your truck well, this is gonna fit in your backpack. I mean, if you wanna throw it in your carry-on for the angler that's on the go, traveling the world, traveling the country, this is the rod you wanna go with. It's another premium option, still from that Wild Side series. So you're getting a high-end rod, but multi-piece. You know, some of the rods in the past, they had dead spots. Well, these are actually made with a really specialized U-joint connection system for each one. It's pretty similar to the ones that they use in high-end fly fishing rods. So you're gonna get that one piece feel, but you're gonna get the convenience of a multi-piece rod. And oftentimes you see, you know, kind of lighter actions, even ultra light action, just nothing too big or beefy in those multi-pieces. Well, we are carrying an extra heavy five piece option, a big bait special option. So if you wanna go out there and throw some of your bigger swim baits, we got a multi-piece rod for you. So just a new lineup, a new company to tackle warehouse. We're excited, nice high-end premium rod. All right, let's take a look at some stuff that we're gonna throw with these rods. First up from 10,000 Fish, we have the 10,000 Fish Headhunter, a really cool little swim bait that I'm pretty excited about. This one's really detailed. Now there's a lot of other detailed baits on the market where this one kind of differs from that. Seems like each detail serves a function. Of course we have the 3D gill rakers, 3D eyes, the 3D fins. That's gonna give it some nice good look when that, that fish comes up and investigates this closely. But each little uh, you know, kind of detail serves a function. So up top we have this detailed fin, but it actually folds down and that's what's hiding your hook. Down below, another great fin. It has a couple cups on there, so it's gonna get an auxiliary kicking action. So, you know, kind of those micro vibrations, micro movements that you see on panfish uh, fins, you're getting that right here with that little cupping. And then of course, on the detailed paddle tail here, you're gonna get that great swimming action out of it. Now let's circle back up to that hook up top. So as you can see, it's gonna give you a nice weedless look to it, but mainly just a concealed look. And this hook is super strong, but not only that, it's anchored by this magnetic system. So it'll snap back in place, it's gonna stay down there, but when the fish does bite, when you got a trophy on the line, you're gonna get a better, more positive hook set because you're gonna get a freer range of motion and at the same time, it's gonna reduce the leverage for that fish throwing your bait. So you're gonna get more of those trophy bass back to the boat. So it's a really unique design. It's actually weighted up in the front. So I know bed fishing is kind of coming to a close in most parts of the country. Maybe next year, or if you're in some of those colder states, you're still gonna to get to do a little bit of bed fishing. That weight forward presentation is gonna keep it in that foraging position. So if you're just irritating a bass on its bed, either letting it sit there or you're just nosing it along, making it look like it's chasing those eggs. I mean, it's just gonna infuriate those bass. They're gonna have no choice but to crush this lure. So pretty awesome new option from 10,000 fish. All right, now we're gonna go a little bit smaller. This time from Mismo, we have the Mismo teaser tube. 
Fun little tube here. It's made with their proprietary plastic, which is durable, so it's gonna stand up to a lot of those aggressive, you know, small mouth if that's what you're chasing with them, but it's still soft, so it's not gonna interrupt that, that action. So you're gonna get more fish out of it, but you're still gonna get tremendous action. Now, I mentioned small mouth. I mean, that is kind of what tubes are more traditionally used for, but I mean, this thing is gonna be dynamite for large mouth and gaining a lot of popularity with some walleye fishermen. It's a real do-all bait. When the bite gets tough, maybe you're faced with a high pressure fishery, uh, gin clear water, you can tie this tube on when you just need to get fish in the live well. This thing is definitely going to get bit when that, those conditions are tough. So cool one to check out from Mismo. All right, let's go back upsize this time to depths. We got a new one from depths, the cover scat. This thing is wildly popular in Japan and now we got it over here in the States. So as you can see, the profile itself isn't too big, but it's loaded with salt. It's a 40% salt content, so it's heavy. So this thing is designed to be thrown without any weights. It's a weightless tossing bait on there. Uh, it's got you know kind of a bulbous end up front here, so you would think maybe it's gonna dive straight down, but thanks to these stabilizing wings on the back, it's actually gonna have a nice horizontal fall through the water column. Now you'll see there's no appendages on here at all, so it's gonna be highly weedless. You're gonna be able to toss it into brush piles, lay downs, anything like that, and you're still gonna be able to pull it out. Enhancing that weedless, we actually have this little bulb on the top and that's gonna be able to bury your hook point in there so it is truly as weedless as it gets. On the underside, to make the rigging as easy as possible, you have that slotted belly design and a cup up front for your hook hanger. So it's just gonna really hide your terminal tackle well. And with that, that heavy salt content, you're gonna be able to cast this thing with all of your you know, traditional casting gear and launch it a long way. So really, like I said, popular in Japan, got that dimpling on here to Im imitate a crawfish, the sweet wing design, just a cool new bulky soft plastic. All right, so sticking with depths, we are gonna go to their new depths bowl flat. So we got another bluegill imitator, kind of looked at a panfish bait earlier. This is their bowl flat design. So similar to the, you know, kind of detailed fins that we had on the other one, we got a little, just these micro appendages that are gonna kind of flutter and imitate how, you know, panfish is, uh, fins up top and below, they kind of have those micro movement movements. So that's what these are designed to imitate. So whether you're working it with your rod or there's just some you know, movement in the water column with current, those things are gonna shimmy and shake, excellent. And then on the back here, we have a segmented jointed tail. So you're gonna get a nice natural swimming pattern. And this thing has no salt in it. So pretty much the opposite of the last one we looked at. So it's gonna be really, really buoyant. So it's gonna have a slow spiral drop. If you add no weight, if you add a little bit of weight, that spiral is gonna get a little bit tighter. It'll fall a little bit faster, but it's buoyant. So you are gonna get a slow fall out of it. So whether you're Texas rigging this thing, Carolina rigging this thing, it's gonna be a highly effective bait. Nice bluegill imita imitator. What I like on it, if I'm looking for a little bit of bulk in my chatterbait or other vibrating jigs, this one's gonna thread on those nicely and give you more of a bulky profile and some great action. Good way to imitate those bluegill. So a cool one from Depths. All right, we're gonna stick with depths. We're gonna switch over to the hard bait. So we're gonna jump up to the surface of the water here with the new Depths Brachio Stick Topwater Walking Bait. Really excited about this one. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's probably my favorite way. I know a lot of anglers, they love chasing those fish uh, topwater. So we got a cool new option from Depths. With this Brachio Stick, you can see it's a good profile, a good size, so you're gonna get a lot of big bites out of this one. And this one, it's really rear weighted. So if I'm holding it in the middle, you're gonna see it just kind of drops to its side there. It's gonna do a couple of things for you. One, it's gonna increase your casting distance. So if you see a fish boiling way deep off, you're still gonna be able to reach these things. None of those boils are gonna be out of your reach anymore. You can launch this thing. Also, when it sits in the water column, it's not gonna sit horizontal. It'll actually kind of sit diagonally. It's got that bulbous, so it's not gonna fully sink vertical, but it's gonna sit diagonal. So A, it's a tempting presentation, but B, as soon as you start twitching your rod, it's gonna jump out of the water and start walking immediately. Helping with that walking action is kind of an innovative spring design. So it actually has an internal spring in this one, which is gonna help you with the walking, but it also kind of adds a, a layer of vibration. So just another way to call in those fish. Up front, you have a little bit of a cupped lip, gonna give you that bait fish sound while also spitting, throwing water, creating a bubble trail, just something else for those fish to key in on. And then a detailed finish on this thing. You have 3D checkered scaling patterns on the sides, holographic eyes, 3D gill rakers, and then finished with some top-notch componentry. Sticky, sharp, I <laughs> kept poking myself with these things earlier today. So really sticky, sharp, solid treble hooks, and it comes feather dressed in the back. There's no need to swap this thing. It's ready to jump out of the package, jump on the surface of the water, catch you some fish. The hook hangers are actually angled. It's kind of to reduce a little bit of that movement, the play in the hooks as you're casking it, so you're gonna get way fewer tangles, virtually tangle-free hooks. So just a solid topwater walking bait from Depths. All right, sticking with the hard bait. 
we're gonna look at a new series from Jackal. We have the Jackal Diggle series of crankbaits. So it's a whole new series to us. We got three different sizes. This is the five plus, we got the four plus here, and then we have the smaller two plus. So a great new series of cranks from, from Jackal. I'm really excited about them. They're, they're pretty premium design. What you're gonna notice right up front is this kind of new unique bill, kind of coffin bill-esque. It's their winglet lip design. So Jackal actually says it's gonna increase your casting distance by up to 20%. It's just a really aerodynamic uh, bill design, so it's not gonna get hung up in the wind when you throw it. And then it also digs. So you're gonna dig deep down, get you into the strike zone, that target strike depth, and it's gonna keep you in that strike zone longer. So just a better chance at catching some of those fish. Just like a lot of other crankbaits out there, this one deflects incredibly well. So you're gonna be able to bounce it off to rock, off of rocks, boulders, other hard structure like that. That's where a lot of those bites, those strikes come from. And then it's gonna track true, you know, immediately get back on, a, on its tracking system if you don't get bit there. Looking at the details on this one, another great paint schemes on it. You know, we have this solid, you know, chartreuse blue here. We also have some translucent opaque options as well. And then premium components, again, really sticky, sharp Japanese treble hooks. No need to swap them out of the package. You're ready to go. 3D gill rakers, 3D holographic eyes, even has the little Jackal logo built in there. Real nice. One of my favorite things about them, on the top, they actually have the depth printed on there. So I have the two plus, it actually says two plus right on top. So there's no more forgetting exactly how deep these things run. Jackal took care of us, they stamped it right on there. All right, so that's gonna wrap up the baits. As I mentioned in the beginning, summertime is here. Those sweltering heats are coming. AFCO's got us covered with some awesome new summer lineup. First up, we have the Captain Swim Trunks. So just an awesome patriotic look, nice swim trunks. If it's really hot out there, you need to take a dip in the lake, a dip in the river, wherever you're fishing. We got you covered. Not like your ordinary swim trunks, these actually do have a DWR treatment, so they're not gonna get fully saturated with water. So when it's time to climb back in the boat, they're gonna shed water and dry off really quickly. Incredibly comfortable, they have like a microfiber feel to them, so nice soft feel, mesh liner, and you even got some pockets in there for storing, you know, your favorite pack of plastics, cell phone keys, whatever you need to. It's just a great thing, you can jump in the water, jump back out, get right back to fishing, you're good to go. Next up, we have the AFCO Sonic Performance Short Sleeve T-Shirt. Again, got a little bit of a patriotic feel and flair to it. I like this one a lot, especially for those guys that they don't want a lot of bulk, they don't want a lot of extra material, they don't want the long sleeve. A lot of performance sleeves out, or performance shirts out there come with long sleeves, a hood, a lot of material, not here. You can get that same UPF protection, that same performance, that quick drying, that good feel in a short sleeve option. So gonna be great for those, those really hot days. All right, next one I want to talk about with a little bit of detail here is going to be the AFCO Diffuse Aero Mesh Shorts. So this is made entirely of their Aero Mesh material. It's incredibly breathable. It's, you know, it is a mesh material, but it's dense. You can't see through it or anything, uh, and it's durable as well. So it's just going to give you, when it's really, really hot, sweltery, sweltering, you know, July, August, even September, this is going to help you keep your cool, maintain its breathability, and it's functional as well. They have some Cordura-lined plier pockets, a lot of, you know, front, back, your rear, all the pockets you need so you can store in your tools, plastics. They're just a solid, all-around fishing pant, lightweight, breathable, comfortable, durable, what more do you want? All right. I got a long sleeve shirt on. This is their Crosswinds Dry Release. Really, really comfortable. Got some good style to it. Uh, got some logoing on the back. Just a nice, comfortable, long sleeve, yet still lightweight. I mean, it's already 80, 90 degrees out here in California. I can wear this thing all day and still remain comfortable. And then, of course, they have a smattering of other uh, collections out there, so make sure you head over to tacklerouse.com, check out all the performance, all the other stuff. We got short sleeve. This is their binocular short sleeve t-shirt. Check out those. We got some hats for you as well. This is their West Side hat. And even we have some, their dock line boonie hat. So just an option for everyone to cover every different scenario. So we got stuff to fish with and we got stuff to keep you comfortable while you're doing it. All right, that's gonna wrap up this week's episode of What's New at Tackle Rails. Thank you as always for tuning in. And as always, if you wanna learn more about these products or to shop for them, click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like. And if you wanna see more like them, make sure to subscribe. And let us know in the comments below which one of these baits you're most pumped about. Maybe it's chasing them with this new brachio stick on top water or diving below the surface with this new 10,000 fish, the headhunter. Let us know which one you like the best. We'll see you all next week.